Good morning, you guys. Before we get started, I do want to just apologize because I know I haven't been making content as like frequently as I should, but I do appreciate all of you guys that comment, you like, you watch every video, and you tune in. It means a lot to me, and I do see you guys. This video is more scattered, more of a day in the life type of video, so I hope you guys enjoy. There's a lot going on. I need new turbo seals. I'm spitting out oil from my tailpipe and just a couple other small things like cam seals, but no big deal. All stuff that can get taken care of. So uh, enjoy the video, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. back to another video. Today's one of those impromptu ones where I wasn't really planning on doing much. I really wanted to just get the base map on my car and try to just diagnose it and troubleshoot it without recording just so I could focus on it. But at the same time, I do have to get more content out for you guys. So this is me trying to put myself out there more for you guys. So you're welcome. Uh, I don't know if it's going to really pick it up on camera. Hang on. No, not really. But long story short, smoke test revealed that I need to do the bottom TGVs as well. The gaskets down there. Oh yeah, you can kind of see the smoke. A little bit. Mm -hmm. But that is our culprit. I'm taking out the front O2 sensor just to take a look at it because maybe this might be the problem. Or even the MAF sensor up top because they're not Denso. I bought OEM replacements, but I bought them cheaper, so I didn't buy them from factory. Meaning I didn't buy Denso sensors. This is my old 200K OEM sensor, which is Denso for my MAF sensor. And this is the new one that I bought that doesn't say Denzel on it, that also was still causing me problems. Here comes a wild cam. So this is the old one, or like my non denzo sensor, and we've got his running, not known working sensor in here now, we're gonna try. Those TGV gaskets didn't actually end up being the problem, which I knew because they were brand new when I put them on. Uh, they were just some bolts that I didn't tighten down back there. Denso OEM O2 sensor in. It's only hand threaded in, so it's not like fully in there. Hi! Hi! So it's not fully in there, hence why I'm here because he has all the proper tools I need to actually get everything tight. Proud of you! Best other? King of the unicorns over here! I'm so proud of you! You gotta get yours in there, man. It's a challenge. Challenge I gladly accept. There's a couple things that I have planned for the car, like interior-wise and also obviously exterior-wise, before it can get there. But yeah. Oh. Let do. Thank you. Yeah, I felt, I felt better than before. Don't go stupid, but you know, tight. I mean, to be fair, I did this with vice grips last night. It's super not tight. Yeah. We are unmodifying a car for once. I used to have the Primo race lens on there, but I switched over to these ones because they were seized. However, these ones are also seized, so I can't go up or down with them. So, I rub a lot, the streets are very bumpy. I'm going back to stock suspension just for the time being until I get my new setup, which is... Bags! And she runs, she drives. We do have a bit of a uh, oil consumption problem with the uh, turbo. Sure He's using this turbo. We don't really know the entire history of that turbo. So basically secondhand turbo, blowing a little bit of smoke, consuming a little bit of oil. He'll probably be good though. Right now I told him as long as he stays out of boost, I can't hold him to that. So if he doesn't, that's on him. Yeah. 
he pulled up. I'm cleaning the garage, so I took over the video for him. Uh, the initial plan was to put stock suspension back on. However, apparently these aren't these aren't seized. It just took a little a little Pedro oomph and some hammer and nail action. Nail? This is a punch, guy. Can you get it together? Whatever. It's I'm gonna I'm gonna punch. I'm gonna put the unga unga meme in here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do the Spongebob. Do the caveman Spongebob. That's me right now. Ungo, <laughs> ungo. We got it. We, we got it to free up a little bit. We got one to free up, so... Yeah, if we can get more than one, we'll adjust it for him. Yeah, and we'll, we'll just raise him up. We're gonna go up like two inches. Two inches? Fine, one and a half. One and a half? <laughs> Bro. It's not average. Let's give you guys an update. It wasn't my idea this time. So, Jacob. Oh, oh so, wow, hi. I'm, I'm hey. just trying to get the angles. <laughs> <laughs> that's, not, that's, not the, that's not the one. The, the two in the front are good. That one over there in the rear is good. Um, this one is a very fucking funny. I don't know what the problem with it is. No, dude, you know what? I'm just going to put a bunch of bleeps over it. I could say, fuck, fuck, fuck. And they'll be like, wow, what's he saying? And I'll be like... Fuck. This one is just giving us kind of a problem. It's not moving at all, so we're just gonna take it out. I already got these two bolts down here, already out. Quick rundown for you guys. I know I've already made a coilover video before. Um, super easy to do on the GD sedans. These are 19, so you want to get a 19 socket and a 19 box, uh, 19 box wrench. Get them both on either end. Undo those, and then from the top in the sedan, you want to take your back seat out, not go through your trunk, and you're gonna have three 12 millimeter bolts right there. Yep. Yeah, the wagon, wagon is a little easier, easier too. but nonetheless, the sedans same, look better. Yeah, it's the same. The same sedan premise. is a wide body. Yeah. Nah, fair. Wide body. I got a bigger ass. It's 25 mils. What the fuck did you just say to me? <laughs> I got a fatter ass. Oh, hey, this is Justin, in case you guys haven't met him before. He's got a Saab 92X. Hi, no, not Justin. on my channel, on his channel. Look on your channel. Oh, on his channel. No, no on I his channel. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Hi, Justin. That's his Saab 92X. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, 92X arrow, very important. Not linear. Those three bolts up there sometimes are super annoying to get to, so he's getting the What's proper tools to actually go ahead and get that, so that I can pull this out from under. Of course, the front's right out of twelve. What's up, Corey? What up? Oh no! It stopped recording at some point. I'm super sorry, but got it out. And now comes the fun part of trying to unseize it. Either way, I just don't want to rub anymore, so I'm fine with either outcome. I'm going to let those sit for a little while, which is no problem. Um, just until I get my new setup, which is going to be BCs or Fortunatos or something. All four of them are in now. We're just kind of really trying to dial it in as much as we can with stock struts. Uh, definitely a bitch and a half to go backwards. So Don't ever unlock a car. Yeah, sit, don't like, ever unlock a car. Cut your bumper, do the front mount, don't ever go backwards. <laughs> yeah, just don't revert back to stock. This is obviously temporary. It's not going to be there forever. It's just like a placeholder, so I'm not rubbing all over the place and pop a fucking tire. This is your daily. Right now. For now, it's a daily. So, we're making it dailified. That's, is that a thing? That's going to be the word of the That's day. That's going right to be there. the word of the day right there. It's dailified. We're, we're dailifying your shit. We're just doing the minute... Uh, camber adjustments that we can oh, do. Oh, actually, this is a good reference for them. Yeah. Notice how this is like pretty much flush mm -hmm. with the hub. Now bring them to the other side. Now you guys can see how sunken in that is. You can see the metal here and where the hub is. Yep. So we were able to get probably what, maybe three mils, no three mils, four mils of camber mm -hmm. from the stock bolt. Right over here, you have your camber adjustment bolt. Yep. I'm gonna rotate this around and you'll notice, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it in the video, I can get a little bit closer. It moves the entire hub inward, right? Eventually, you're going to get to a point where it's going to stop making adjustments, like pretty much right around there. And then you can actually push in on the hub. So you guys can see it coming out a little bit because it's an eccentric bolt. Mm -hmm. So now we're back to that flush state. We'll go, you can go either way. It doesn't matter the direction that you go on this. You just go all the way until it basically bottoms itself out into the strut. And once you have no more adjustment, it doesn't make any adjustments there. You push in on the hub and you can actually see it. Yep. There you go. Where it moves. So you push in and hold 
and then tighten that down. You're so bad at this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. You like the I can't even look at the side yet. Oh! God! No! I'm so glad that moved so much. Dude. It didn't. At all. At all, honestly. That's like, the car went down, crazy. and the wheel, like, the wheel... Are you wheel... sure this isn't out of an Outback? That's disgusting. I'm pretty Brother. sure this is out of an Outback. Oh. I'm Sorry. pretty sure these are out of an Outback. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be a rally no, boy for a little bit. Of, they were out of an Impreza. They were out of an Impreza. Dude, I'm just gonna be a rally boy for a little bit. It's fine. They were definitely out of an Impreza. It's cool. No, this is not Impreza. <laughs> Why you look so sad, bud? Wait, no, 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 you, guys, you, guys. You, do you see what? Yeah, look check how his. Look how low he is. Look how low he is. You can barely fit a credit card under this. You could fit your head in there right Brother, now. There's oh, the still down here, dog. Guys, guys, there's still there's still jack stands under there. There so is, like, there still, is. No, 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 let, no, let's no, uh, no. let us not scare you. It is down there. But it's Jake, just... for reference sake, can you just shove your head in there oh, real my... quick? <laughs> it's a... <laughs> Here I come, oh my god! I'm trying to talk him into bags, but he won't do it, guys. That's not my fault. I didn't get to record last night, but here's the final product. It's not the look that I want, personally. But at the same time, I'd rather it be drivable so I can get around to and from where I need to go every day. And it's super temporary. It looks really high up because I think those are Impreza Outback struts and not just base model Impreza. Um, still went in there, no problem ish we're gonna try to unseize that one collar and maybe we can get back to a pretty decent ride height until i get my new setup i appreciate you guys for watching always it means a lot to me next video we should be hopefully placing the turbo because that one's bad it's got bad seals spitting oil everywhere so that's no good please make sure to comment like and subscribe and let's see if we can get ourselves to 500 subs by end of july i think we can do it i love you all and i will see you in the next one Spin bags, spin bags, getting all this treasure like I'm sitting bags and